Hi guys, it's Miss Lowa Faces coming to you. And today, as you guys can tell by the title, I am coming to you guys with a wedding update. I know, it's been quite a while. I literally have pages of notes on things that I wanna tell you guys about the planning and what's been going on and just how things are progressing with the wedding that is coming up. So as of today, right now, the day that I am filming this video, which is Saturday, we have 105 days till the wedding. That is like still a little ways away, but literally it's like right around the corner. And I think it's utterly crazy that it's just, you know, something that you've been planning for so long is like on the horizon right there. So, okay, so first I wanna say I'm sorry because I did some wedding updates in the past, then out of nowhere, they stopped and if you follow my channel for some time you know they actually even disappeared off my channel I put them on private because it was just a lot of things going on in the background so it was just best for me to put it on private but now it's out in the open everybody knows about the wedding that's coming up and all of that stuff so those old videos I'll go ahead and put it in the cards so you guys go ahead and check those videos out I did some bride box videos as well so go ahead and check those out as well let me give you guys a quick recap of our relationship um we met on one of my trips to Nigeria we hit it off right away and um shortly after he proposed and it was expected but unexpected at the same time I knew that we talked about marriage for some time and I knew that he wanted to marry me but I didn't know that he was going to propose at the time that he did propose. So I was surprised and, you know, just in shock. I didn't really know what to say. Well, of course I said yes, but, you know, all that good stuff. So shortly after, you know, it's a long distance relationship. So things kind of moved very quickly. And I didn't tell you guys, back in 2014, we actually got married. Yes, yes, we got married. Um, We had a small little court wedding which was super perfect. Um, I'll see if I could and put a picture somewhere in this video of um, that wedding day. And it was super perfect. It was small, intimate, like we wanted. And our families were there. Not my full family because it was kind of like an unexpected thing. But my sister happened to be in Nigeria, my niece, my nephew, and my parents were there. So, and then also my family members that were in Nigeria as well were there. So it was super perfect and super intimate and I loved it. We were on such a high and then life took its course and his father passed away the next day. So um, that just took a whole toll on like the whole high that we were on from getting married and having a new wife enter into the family. It was a very difficult time because, you know, just trying to adjust to his father not being around. His father was like the main reason how we met anyway because his father was like a father figure to me and now that he's gone. <laughs> so, um, but I think that also strengthened me and my husband's relationship. So, for those who didn't know, yes, I am already married. <laughs> In the African culture, you know, you... The, it's the bride's parents who give her away, obviously, the bride's parents who give her away. And it's up to you to give your daughter away in whichever fashion you wanted. And I was semi-okay with stopping right there, especially since his father wasn't around. But my parents were like, no, we need to give you away the proper way, blah, blah, blah. So, which leads us to August 13th, 2016, where I will be getting married again <laughs> in front of... A bunch of other family members friends and you know loved ones church members and all of that so that's why I am having another wedding for those who cannot process the fact or understand why I would still want to do another wedding after I had a court wedding so that answers that question so traditionally African weddings are two days two days two days <laughs> The first day is the traditional engagement, and then the second day is the actual, what we like to say, um, what we like to say, the white wedding. So, um, I'm going to give you guys a brief breakdown on what the traditional engagement is. Um, so for the traditional engagement, it's the bride's family, they're in the venue first, you know, friends or whatever. It's normally the two parent families are lined up 
their chairs are lined up like this. Then the couple will sit in the middle. Um, so the bride's family is there already. The groom's family comes in. They ask permission to come in. They say yes, blah, blah, blah. They state their intent. Hey, you know, our son wants to marry your daughter. Um, the bride's sister, younger sister, sisters, whatever, whoever's younger than her. So the, um, the bride's sisters, in my case, my younger sisters, will be reading the proposal letter. It basically just states that, um, we propose to marry your daughter. We want to marry your daughter. And then a dowry is given, gifts are given, all this other stuff. Mind you, then the groom comes in, or maybe he's in already. I forgot. Um, I think he's in already. When he comes in, he has to, you know, greet the bride's family, greet his family. You know, they pray, all that other stuff. And then finally, um, once they accept, they write the, they get a letter of acceptance. Then the bride comes in. In some cases, they bring out a fake bride, um, someone who's dressed like the bride, and the groom's supposed to say, no, this is not my wife. But in my case, we won't be doing that. <laughs> we won't be doing that. It will be me coming out. So when um, the bride comes out, she's obviously dressed in traditional African attire, and she has a veil on, and she comes out with her friends and her family members, and it's just a whole big shebang. Then, you know, the prayer, the greeting of the both families happen again. Then she finally could go meet her man. The gifts are there. She's asked to choose a gift. You're supposed to choose the Bible because the foundation of marriage is God. And then on top of the Bible is the ring. So that's pretty much the whole summarization of a traditional African engagement. So my colors that I picked for that, I wanted to do something fun and summery because it's going to be in August. And I chose pink, gold, purple, and white those white slash ivory, white and ivory are my accent colors, gold, white, and ivory are my accent colors. My main colors are pink and purple. I thought that would be just nice, fun, bright. Um, when you do do weddings, African weddings, sometimes they choose a color or two colors. So the bride's family will wear one color and the groom's family will wear another color. But because again, we're already married, I decided to just choose one color and that is the color that everyone will be wearing. The venue is just a simple venue. I didn't want to go too crazy with the venue because um, I already kind of went crazy with the wedding venue. So the venue is just kind of like a simple like auditorium type of place. But I did find a nice decorator and she is going to deck that place out. like, And for a super affordable cost as well. I'm so happy that I found her like where me and him are going to be sitting is going to be so gorgeous and then she's going to do like the whole little you know seating arrangements and all of that it's going to be really nice my centerpieces for the engagement i didn't want to go crazy again so i am going to do a diy type centerpiece it's going to be nice simple as well as the tables will be dressed with food so like um appetizers on the table so that would be nice as well and the diy thing why i opted to do diy is because i wanted something for people to take home so granted it's not gonna be enough for everybody but the centerpieces whoever gets it gets it and it's gonna be nice because it's not something you're just gonna use one day and then throw it out it's something that people could take home and use in their house live band or DJ <laughs> um, in African weddings um, as most I'm thinking most non-African weddings too sometimes they have like a live band like a jazz band well, when we say live band African live band it's like African men drumming on their drums and you know singing all types of Nigerian music and it's really loud it's buzzing in your ear people are dancing all of that stuff <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm not having a live band. For my traditional engagement, I am not having a live band. I just prefer to have a DJ and have him play whatever night job music that the adults need to hear, whatever Afro beats the younger people need to hear and whatever trap music, club music, soul music, jazz music, whatever that anybody else wants to hear. So just to cut a cost, I prefer to just do a DJ. And honestly, me personally, I don't even like live band. It's just... It's good for a moment, and then after a while it kind of gets tiring, so it's just better to not even bother paying the money for live band. And secretly, they take the money that they're supposed to give to the bride and groom. So, if there's no live band, there's no live band to spray, so they could just continue to spray 
the bride and groom. And for those who are watching this video that don't know what spraying is, it's in the traditional African culture when they kind of give you money. People like to call it the money dance. We call it spraying. It's when you spray money while the bride and groom dance. So that's what that is. Okay, moving on to the actual wedding or the white wedding, I should say. Even though we had something small and intimate in Nigeria, we still wanted to have something small or semi-small here. But being that his father is deceased and his father was a pastor and my father's a pastor as well, um, it was kind of nearly impossible for that to happen. <laughs> so um, our guest count is around 430 something, I think. Last time I counted, it's, it's definitely in the 400s, not by choice, um, but what can we do so that's what the guest count that i'm working with because my husband is not in the country a lot of it does rely on me to make the decisions i do consult him because i do want his opinion and i do send him pictures and um emails and all of that stuff so he can actually be really involved in what's going on so he can see what the invitations look like see what the save the dates look like see what the centerpieces look like those type of things i really do get him involved even though he's not around and honestly, secretly, I don't know if he even cares because you know how guys are, but it is what it is. So this is what our save the date looks like. It is um, a picture of our feet with our date, our names, it says save the date. And down at the bottom is our wedding website. I'm going to go ahead and link our wedding website down here so you guys can go ahead and check it out. Feel free to go ahead and check out our wedding website. Also, our invitation came in three pieces. Our colors are burgundy and gold. I don't know if I mentioned that before. Our colors are burgundy and gold. So a lot of um, our decor is going to be centered around burgundy and gold. I really wanted a fall wedding, a fall October wedding, but being a teacher, that's just hard to be planning a wedding and getting married in the middle of the school year. So I just opted to get a wedding as close to the fall as possible. So that's why I chose August and also we got married in August already so why not just keep it in the same month so our invitations are really simple it has burgundy writing it has burgundy writing really pretty and simple and um, our envelopes had burgundy lining as well and it came in several different pieces the RSVP card the RSVP card, the reception card, the traditional engagement card, all of those pieces were inside of the invitation. The venue. Okay, so <laughs> the ceremony venue is taking place at my father's church. Originally, it was going to be a nice outdoor ceremony. We go outside, have a quick ceremony, then come inside for cocktail hour and the reception. But my father was like, look, you know, I understand you guys are already married, but I think we should still do it in the church. Look, I got my man already, so to me, anything else is extra. So I was like, Daddy, if you want to do it in the church, go ahead, by all means, do it in the church. So it's going to be taking place at my father's church, which I'm, I honestly don't really care. It's not a big deal to me. The decorator... Like, she actually popped in at the church the other day to kind of just get a feel of how it's going to be set up and the different things. And she really knows what she's doing. I'm super excited that she knows what she's doing. It's a different decorator. <laughs> Let me tell you, each... The decorator for the engagement, the decorator for the ceremony, and the decorator for the reception are all different decorators. All these decorators di provided something different that I liked and that I wanted for the venue. Each venue. So, for the ceremony, the decoration is going to be... Minimal, minimal, minimal. <laughs> For the ceremony, the decoration is going to be minimal, but it's going to be elegant and it's going to be nice. So the focus really should be on the bride and groom and the bridal party. So I didn't want it to be like overwhelming and already it's in a church. The chairs are nice, the carpet's nice, all of that stuff. So um, I'm excited about that. The reception venue was really important to me to book like I really wanted a really nice venue because if I had a really nice venue I wouldn't have to spend so much on decor which I'm not for the reception I'm not spending that much on decor because the venue is really nice they have really nice chandeliers they have a nice outdoor area and I just think it's the atmosphere of that venue is going to be so nice and we honestly got a steal it's still a little pricey because we have a lot of people but 
regardless of the fact is we got a steal. The wedding cake, currently, I thought I found a wedding cake that I liked. I know what I want, I know what I want my wedding cake to look like, but I thought that, um, I was gonna go with this place, but this place is so far, like, it's so far. I drove out there, did a cake tasting, fell in love, but this Sunday, today's Saturday, so tomorrow I have another cake tasting at a local bakery. I have no doubt that they're gonna do an amazing job on my wedding cake and that it's gonna taste phenomenal. I just hope the price is phenomenal. <laughs> because again, like, I didn't spend too much money on invitations because they're gonna throw it out and I don't wanna spend too much money on the wedding cake either. So, I feel like there's certain things that I wanna spend money on, like my videographer, my photographer, and my venue. Those are the main things that I wanted to spend a good amount of money on, and I did, and I am. So, other things I can kinda of cut corners a little bit, but at the same time, I want my cake to look nice and to taste good, so. Again, DJ versus live band. Like I said before, I'm not really feeling live band, so we are having a DJ. I got the hottest, one of the hottest, DJs in New Jersey, um, African DJ, he plays at all of the hottest Nija clubs back when I used to club it up, so I have no doubt that he is going to turn up the place, so I got him and it's going to be amazing, I can't wait, um, we've actually been communicating back and forth, so I'm excited about that. So wedding favors, you can never go to a Nigerian wedding and leave empty handed, like it's just completely impossible um i want to thank my mom because she has come up with this awesome favor idea which i'm absolutely excited about i know some of my other family members are doing favors and i know specifically that my sisters are working on something awesome for wedding favors as well so i'm excited about that i'm not going to give away the details because i don't want to ruin it for my wedding guests who are actually watching this video so let's talk about bride and groom prep all right um, you know, the dress, the tux, the shoes, da 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 Okay, so I do have my wedding dress. At the time that I got it, I was super excited about it, super happy, super just in love. It was everything that I needed and wanted in a wedding dress. And I still do absolutely love my dress, don't get me wrong. But, I mean, just drama has happened regarding my dress. Um, and just some things that I'm just not happy about have occurred. Nonetheless, I still love my dress. The drama just kind of, I guess, discouraged me nonetheless. But I still love my dress and I cannot wait to put it on. My man's going to be like, Damn, you look good. <laughs> no, he's going to be like, Wow, babe, you look better than you've looked ever. Like, ever, ever 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 <laughs> so yeah i'm excited about my wedding dress if you guys can't tell so shoes um i'm still debating this is my thing heels versus flats i'm a heels girl i don't mind heels whatever but i always told myself that when i get married i am going to wear flats why I'm going to wear flats is because I don't want to be up at the altar doing the whole ceremony, then from there to the reception, taking pictures, blah, 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 and my feet hurting me. Like, I don't, I don't want to have to deal with that. Honestly, I could honestly, seriously go barefoot, just kind of put like, you know, one of those like barefoot sandals looking things on my feet. I'll put a picture here if you guys don't know what I'm talking about and just go barefooted, but that's like super ghetto. So, um, and since it's not at the beach... Um, I'm thinking of opting for flats. Go ahead and leave a comment down below if you think I should wear heels, should wear flats. I want to hear what you guys think about what I should wear for my wedding. My veil, um, I'm super excited. My veil is really, really gorgeous. Um, you know, the whole something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. Originally, my veil was going to be borrowed, but the lady at the dress place messed up my order and she went ahead and ordered my veil even though I told her to hold off on it. So now my borrowed veil, um, I have to give it back to the person who was going to borrow it to me. I love you though. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to go ahead and wear that, the one that I bought. So that's the whole situation with my veil. My hair, I know how I'm going to have my hair. Um... I know where I'm buying my hair. It took me a while to figure out where I was going to buy my hair because um, I'm going from the wedding. I have maybe 24 hours in between. And then 
we're leaving for our honeymoon so my hair needs to be in a way where I can um still do it and have it look good on my honeymoon my makeup I of course I, <laughs> I people ask me if I was doing my makeup myself I could I easily could but I was thinking it's just better to have myself pampered that day so I went ahead and booked a phenomenal makeup artist who I did work with when I first started getting into makeup so she's super awesome super sweet and I can't wait to actually have her beat my face on my wedding day like I wouldn't have any other person so I'm excited about that I also had another question I wasn't sure if I should do false lashes for my wedding like the ones I have on now which I'm sure she'll do a phenomenal job I don't have a doubt about it or if I should do lash extensions so that way I have the lashes on for my honeymoon as well and I don't have to worry about bringing like false lashes with me if I want that extra you know boost or that extra look um what do you guys think go ahead and leave a comment down below should I get lash extensions or if I should just do falsies and rip them off and then just glue them on if I need to wear them during my honeymoon let me hear your thoughts I really want to hear what you guys have to say should I do lash extensions or should I just do falsies let me know so my husband he'll be here soon so once he comes we're going to get his suit i already have in my mind the kind of suit that i want him to have the kind of look that i want him to have and um believe it or not despite him not having his suit i already went ahead and got him his shoes and his accessories for that day so i think that would be cute i just hope that what i have in my brain matches up with what i see because then if not, then we got shoes and we don't got a suit and it's just going to be a hot mess. I'm probably going to have to get new shoes. But I think for the most part, I'm really good with fashion and I have a good eye for things, especially when it comes to men's clothing. So I have no issues. And I think that the shoes that I did get him will work perfectly well with the suit idea that I have in my head. So. so my bridal party, my bridal party for the most part has been awesome. There were just only like two hiccups maybe half a hiccup not a huge hiccup or anything that I like kick somebody out the wedding or anything like that none, none of that the girls it's a lot of girls like I'm not gonna lie my wedding is a wedding of 400 and something people so why not have a large bridal party it's a lot of cousins and a lot of friends so not a lot of friends more so a lot of cousins a lot of sisters my bridal party is semi-large so again if you guys want to see the full list of my bridal party you guys can go ahead and check out the website i'll put it right here and you guys could see all the members of my bridal party when selecting the guys i was really fortunate that um my husband has people that he's known here in the country that he's seen met things like that that in nigeria and that also live here as well so we were very fortunate for that so his best man he's known his best man um some of the groomsmen he's known as well obviously i have my cousins in there i have my older brother in there and i have a friend of mine from undergrad in the wedding as well so the guys are a little bit smaller than the girls but i think despite everything else it all pretty much works out so i'm not worried about that the guys got their suits already actually I just got a package and their suspenders and their ties came in and it looks awesome so I'm excited about that the girls their dresses are getting made and the girl is on it actually I have to text her but the girl the girl who's making the dresses is on it like when I first saw the dress like the sample dress I was like yo this is like better than I imagined <laughs> No, but the dresses really look really bomb. There's two different dresses. I have bridesmaids and then I have sweet maids. They're like junior bridesmaids, but they're not like super young. So I didn't want to call them junior bridesmaids. I call them sweet maids. Again, go to the wedding website. It's all there. Um, their dresses are different, but the bridesmaids, their dresses got made. And it's just so phenomenal. Like, I love it. Um, flowers, I wasn't going to do bouquets. I was going to do purses. Then that quickly added up an expense so then I spoke to my decor lady and we are doing bouquets their bouquets are gonna be the same flowers as my bouquet and um I'm not gonna give insight to how the bouquets are gonna look because I really don't know yet but just know it's going to be my favorite flower so gifts for the bridal party gifts for the guys gifts for the girls let me tell you my girls I hooked them up with some bomb ass gifts like I'm not, again, I can't go into details, but, like, their gifts are bomb. Their gifts are bomb. Like, they're bomb. <laughs> the guys have good gifts as well, 
but um I think that girls invest more money into a wedding because they have to get their hair done, their makeup done, their dress, their shoes, their um, nails, all of that. So I felt like then I needed to just like hook them up, I guess more than the guys, but you know. All right, so let's talk about some other events that come with the wedding. For example, the bridal shower. Um, I spoke to my matron of honor, which is my sister, and my maid of honor, which is my cousin, and I let her know, I let them know that um, I the theme that I wanted and everything like that, because I'm very like into the 1960s fashion and things like that, um, super girly, all of that stuff. So I think that they've really concocted and came up with a really good theme for my bridal shower and um I already got my dress I don't I know I don't know too many details about it it's like a semi surprise I know the date the only reason why I know the date is because I am supposed to be taking engagement pictures again and I didn't want it to fall on the same date so I was like look I need to know the date because we about to take engagement pictures on this date and I don't want it to fall on the same date so they told me the date and um yeah, so we aren't taking engagement pictures on the same day, thank God. But um, the only thing I know so far is the date. Like, I don't know anything else about the shower. I barely even know the theme. So, so that's that. I don't know if there's going to be um, a bachelor party. I don't know if there's going to be a bachelor party, but I know because my maid of honor and my matron of honor are flying out, I think that they're going to do my bachelorette and my bridal shower in the same weekend again I don't know many of the details about that but we'll see if you guys want to know any more details about my wedding again I will put my wedding website right here in the video as well as put the link down in the description box you guys can go ahead and click it check out all the details of the wedding um, our story the bridal party where we're registered and things like that if you guys are interested in checking that out um lastly yes we are going on a honeymoon i'm so fortunate that my husband will be a green card holder and um we are going out the country for our honeymoon i'm super excited i'm super like i can't wait i've been shopping like i shouldn't be shopping but i'm shopping for my honeymoon because i just needed some things well a lot of things Shh don't tell him <laughs> um I've been shopping for some things for me and for him for our honeymoon and I can honestly say that it's paid off I'm super happy about that um so yeah like overall people I think I've been surprising people with the way I've been behaving it's so funny because with the wedding I've been getting like a lot of random questions when people ask me like oh how's wedding planning I immediately like roll my eyes and be like oh lord but they're like, oh, I can tell that you're a bridezilla. And I'm like, I don't know. Like, honestly, I can't answer that question because it's me. But let my bridal party answer that question for you guys. So here is some clips of what some of the members of my bridal party had to say about me being a bridezilla. Honestly, no. Thankfully, I'm so grateful for that personally. Um... Grace has a laid back personality for the most part, but she cares greatly about what's going into anything she does. Um, you can just imagine just prepping and um, planning for a wedding has its own stressors and she's been handling them, handling them gracefully, no pun intended. And I mean, I know being made of honor comes with its own pressures and intimidations of making sure the bride is happy, making sure she's has she has what she's wanting. And I mean, luckily I, I know what makes her tick and I know what ticks her off and everything's been good so far. I mean, we, we've been talking about this day for a while, so um, I'm excited about it and I'm, and I'm grateful that she hasn't gone crazy because I can get a little crazy too. Um, but with us being a little over 100 days out from the big day, I know things will get a little bit more hectic as the day nears, but so far everything's been great and it's been fun and um, I'm excited. So to answer your question, no, you haven't. Um, I'm gonna kinda say no, she hasn't been as bad as I thought she was going to be. When um, she got engaged, I was so nervous cause I'm like, oh my gosh, she's going to, 
kill us. Like she's going to have us running up and down, doing this, exercising, or just stressing us out. And surprisingly, she hasn't been that bad at all. She's very um, in tune with others' needs and, you know, as far as like financial or emotional you know, she's very supportive, like telling everybody in the group happy birthday and have everyone wish that person happy birthday. Little reminders for payment, things of sort, and very understanding if someone can't make the payment like right now. Um, so I have to say she hasn't been a bridezilla. But it doesn't say as time gets closer and it's the week of that she probably won't be. I can't say that, but um, so far she's been great. She's been the exact opposite that <laughs> of what I thought she was going to be, so... I'm extremely proud of her and um, can't wait for her to win. I'm so excited. I'll say no. I mean, but I haven't, I'm not really around to like see in the full planning mode. So I'll say no. But I mean, I've, I've heard you had your moments, but I wasn't there to witness it. Are you surprised? Yes or no? Um, I was expecting you to be a little worse. But like I said, I haven't seen anything, so I really don't know. I don't know. I would say no, but that's just me. I, w I would just say no. But, um, Putting the sister act aside, I don't think you're a bright star. I mean, you probably have the tendencies to be, but so far, you haven't been a bright star. Are you surprised that I'm not a bright um, Did you think, like, when I started? I'm not surprised because I think you kind of already prepared your mind not to be one, and you know. So far with the wedding plans and preparation, I think it's just like, um, you just, you have, you've just accepted that, okay, it is what it is. So you decide not to be like a bridezilla or whatever. No. Do you think Gigi has been a bridezilla? Yeah. You have? Why? No. No, she hasn't been a bridezilla? No. How has she been? Good. And nice? Yeah. All right, what do you want to say to Gigi? Um, love you, Gigi. I can't wait to be in your wedding. Can't be in the wedding. See you later, alligator and the wildcat. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you got your questions answered as to if I'm a bridezilla, yes or no. Um, I hope this was detailed enough for you guys, give you guys a little bit of insight into what's been going on behind the scenes and how wedding planning is going. For me, of course, I will be back with another wedding update as the time gets closer. I do want to do a honeymoon haul of things that I bought specifically for my honeymoon, but that won't be until closer to the wedding day. Um, I think maybe I'll come back with two more updates. One closer to the wedding day. Hopefully, I can bring my husband in here to, you know, for you guys to see him. And then also, I'll probably do like a honeymoon haul and wedding update as well. Um next so i think i can only do two more because at this point i think i have about less than about three months or so so i'm super excited if you guys want to see more videos like this go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and leave comments down below of what you guys think any ideas some good websites for wedding stuff because i don't have everything done yet so i'm open to new ideas as well all right guys if you don't already know don't forget to share comment and subscribe also follow me on instagram and twitter at miss underscore lewa faces if you guys want a glimpse into my daily life and see the wedding madness before, right when it's happening go ahead and follow me on snapchat at miss underscore lewa faces and i will talk to you guys soon bye